Alright, welcome to Freestyle Thursdays. Alright, beautiful day out today. It's a little muggy, but uh, really nice. It's cool. I think it's in the low 70s. But uh, my lens uh, over here, my helmet, or whatever you want to call it, is fogging up pretty badly. Get some air in here, maybe it'll help. Uh, I got my notes. Wrote my notes down that I wanted to talk about on the vlog today. Alright, so I'm, uh, I'm on the road. We're going to go down to a place called Sakonic Point in, uh, I think it's Tiverton, Rhode Island. Really nice area. Used to go there as a kid with my parents. Uh, they used to have like a... Um, an area where the fishermen would come in and you could actually buy the fish right off the boats I don't know if that's still there or not but I don't know we'll see it's been a long time since I've been down there probably 20 years to tell you the truth it's a good ride it's probably 20 miles from where I live so uh, it's a good distance for me so it'll be a good ride hopefully I'll be home before the uh, I gotta get the kids from school they're back in school so uh, gotta switch over to the car for that you know, I want to pass her, but I got a feeling she'll probably crash into me or something. Even though I got a whole lane over here on the left. I don't know, I just got a weird feeling about this lady in this car. See what I'm saying? Hitting the brakes on a freaking highway. There's nobody coming. I gotta get out of here. Nah, what a nice view out here. Hey, Grinnell's Beach. I think I brought you guys to this before. So what was this vlog going to be about? I want to talk about motorcycle accidents. Motorcycle accidents and whose fault they are. Or, you know, most, I'm going to say, are the brightest fault. You know, I'm not an expert. I'm not a pro. You know, but I'm going to tell you this. The statistics are there. Look, watch the videos on YouTube. I've been watching some of these videos on YouTube. And, um... Uh, it just proves what I'm trying to say about motorcycle accidents, you know, uh, that it's the biker's fault 99% of the time. Uh, you got all these motorcycle accident videos out there, right, compilations, whatever you want to call them, and uh, it's crazy, yeah, people are going as fast as they're going. I watched one yesterday, this guy is in something like where I'm at now, right, this is a 25 mile an hour zone, a 30 mile an hour zone, something like that, um, I think it's 30, 30 miles an hour here and the guy's doing like 94 on his bike now i'm not sure if that's a um miles per hour or if that's kilometers but let's look at it this way if that's miles per hour he's way over the speed limit all right guaranteed he's way over the speed limit definitely it definitely wasn't a highway he was on all right and if that's kilometers per hour 94 equals mm, let me see if i remember correctly roughly 62 miles per hour again way over the speed limit but anyway this guy in front of him decides to make a u-turn right and everybody's commenting i look at the comments everybody's like oh that asshole blah 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 i guess his mirror doesn't work dude when you're doing 94 miles an hour or let's say 62 let's say his speed speed is kilometers right there's no way in hell that guy's gonna see you all right because he can do a mirror check and he can turn his head to check you won't be there if you're traveling 64 or 94 miles an hour, you're there in a heartbeat. So after he just looks and doesn't see anybody, boom, you're there. So I don't get how you're going to blame. Yeah, all right. Is it tr the truck driver's fault? Yeah. You know, he made the U-turn in the street, okay? Eventually, it is his fault, I guess. But had that bike had not been going that fast, or as fast as he was going, he'd have time to react to that. I mean, shit. He'd have time to see that that, that truck is probably going to do a U-turn. All right? You could have predicted that watching the video. I, I mean, I predicted it. I'm like, oh, crap. You know? He couldn't do it, though, because he didn't have time. He was going too fast for the road conditions. Hell, you look at his speedo. He didn't even freaking slow down. It looks like he actually sped up at one point. Went up to 104. And then, uh, at last minute, he, I guess he thought he was going to go around the vehicle. And, it, and, you know, he didn't realize, hey, the truck's going to make a U-turn, I guess. And he went right into the front end. But before he hit the front end, I think he got down to about 80. 
and like I said, whether it's miles per hour, I don't know, or kilometers, but he got down to like 80 or something like that before he crashed into the damn truck. <laughs> I'm hoping that wasn't miles per hour, I'll tell you that. It, uh, that would not be good. I don't know if that guy survived it or not, but tell you, I'm just bringing this up to say, you know what? Be careful out there. Do the speed limit. Uh, I know some of you guys are out there just doing this stuff of views and trying to make money on YouTube and stuff, but man, in the end, if you end up on the road, whether it's your fault or someone else's fault, it's not worth it, dude. You can either end up dead, uh, you know, disfigured, uh, paralyzed. There's so much shit that can go wrong, and I, I don't know if you, I don't know about you, but I don't want to die. I mean, I'm not scared to die, but I'm not looking forward to Russia. You know what I'm saying? All the shit I've done in my life, I'm still here. Don't want to die in a motorcycle accident, especially when it's my fault. I want to try to survive it if I have to go down. And I've gone down a couple of times and I was able to survive because, or not get hurt because of the speeds I was doing. Okay? Speeds were more conducive to the uh, situation I was riding in. Or however you want to say it. Uh, this is a beautiful country out here. Rhode Island's just gorgeous, man. Just gorgeous. How nice it is out here. It's beautiful. But anyway, this whole part of the uh, Tiverton, uh, it's just big money. Big money down this way. Alright, just pulled over to uh, let these people pass so I can take my time and enjoy the ride. Uh, I don't want to hold anybody up, you know? But anyway, yeah, the motorcycle thing, 99% of motorcycle accidents are the riders' fault, all right? You can say whatever you want, man, but, you know, I've said this in the past. I've said it to some people that I know that ride and stuff. You know what? It doesn't matter whose fault it is. You're the one that's going to end up on the road, on, you know, hitting the pavement. You know what I'm saying? you got no cage around you. It's just, uh, man, I don't know. You know, you everybody do what the hell you want to do. You know, wear gear, don't wear gear. Ride fast, don't ride fast. Uh, you know, watch out for yourself on the road, blah, blah, blah. That's your that's your choice. But dude, when you get into an accident and you're doing like 100 miles an hour, don't go blaming everybody else, dude. You know, you're doing 130 mile an hour zone, or you're doing 60 in a badass curve and you lose it. Don't go blaming everybody else, right? Don't blame the guys around you, the people. You know people can't drive. You know people ain't watching you. You know people can't see you on a bike. Jesus Christ, all you got to do is go online and research safety, bike safety, blah, blah, blah. You know all these things. The, 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 the information is out there. Now, if you don't know it, it's because you're ignorant and you don't want to learn it or know it or study it or whatever. But that's on you. You know, and I believe everybody should make their own choices. But, hey, the consequences are what they are. And when you have to face those, it's on you. It's not on me. Not on anybody else. It's not my job keep you safe uh, you know what I mean it's at your job it's your job to do what you got to do to be safe nobody else's all right nobody else is gonna look out for you you make your own decision you're a grown man I don't care if you're 20 or 50 and if you do crash then you die that was your choice that's all there is to it unless it's a freak accident somehow some way you know you're doing the right thing and somebody you know crashes into you you know, but man, most of the most of the accidents, 99 percent of them, I'm gonna say, it, it, it's the biker's fault. Period. So, what else do I got to say? Nothing really. I really don't have anything else to say. I'm babbling on about the the shit. Um, you know, I'm just tired of seeing comments. You know, uh, guys are like, ah, oh, I guess his left mirror didn't work, or uh, uh, kick his mirror. You know, and the guys are like kicking the mirrors and shit. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, that just shows how ignorant you are, or how stupid you are. You know, you're breaking mirrors, you <clears throat> and then you're taking off between cars and all that, you know. I don't know. Yeah, the guy might have cut you off or whatever, but you know what? Bringing yourself down to a level like that is like, it's it's lower than an animal. Animal, you know? Animals act better than that. You know, you gotta be better than the next person, okay? You can't be dumber than the next person. You gotta be better than them. Right? Kicking someone's mirror or door while you're riding a stool. You're on two wheels. If that guy gets really pissed, 
and runs you over. What are you going to do then? All right? Because you kicked this mirror or, or you broke his mirror or punched his mirror or kicked his door. You say that guy flips out and loses it and says, screw it. I'm just going to smash this kid. What are you going to do then? All right? Say he just hits the gas and runs you over, smashes you into the guardrail and whatever, or to the next car. What are you going to do then? Then you're going to blame that guy, right? Because, hey, your actions had nothing to do with it. Is that what you're telling me? You know? It's another thing in this country nowadays. We don't take responsibility for our actions, right? Right? You guys are riding on these bikes doing 100, 150. Hell, some people doing 200. They're dying left and right, right? Nobody learns because people are dying on these things, right? Doing these, these stunts on the road. But yeah, you still don't learn, right? And then you want to blame everybody else for your problems, right? How about sitting down and saying, you know what, I screwed up. You know, things could have been different if I wasn't speeding. You know, maybe that guy could have seen me in his mirror. Maybe he did check his mirror. Maybe. Maybe you were going too fast. And by the time he did the lane change, after he checked his mirror, could only be a few seconds. You were right up on him. Right? Maybe, just maybe, it's your fault. Maybe you should take responsibility for that. So take responsibility for the actions. What led up to that? You know? All I'm saying is, people, grow up. Maybe, grow up, you know. Wow, these houses are phenomenal out here, unbelievable. Um, so that's what I'm saying, you know, grow up and uh, uh, become men and women, right? Do the right thing and uh, reap the reward, I guess. Thanks for listening to my babbles. <laughs> Uh, I kind of go in circles sometimes, and I apologize for that, but uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get the point across, you know, and like I said, to each their own. You make your own choices. Well, you know, the consequences are what they are. For every action, there's a reaction. Remember that, folks. I'm out. Peace.